Welcome back, Pilot Mike, flying outside of Breton on X-Plane. And I've downloaded a brand new, well, for brand new for me, I've downloaded a scenery pack. So, it's called VFR Landmarks. Aha, there we go. There is the power station. So in the last video I said when I, uh, when I took off from Breton, I used the power station as a bit of a landmark to know um, what to turn into. So, what this has done, this VFR Landmarks, which is free to download, and I'll show you how to put that onto your um, your X-Plane folders is it puts in these landmarks I'll just jump out the cockpit here and show you now it's a it kind of works and it kind of doesn't so what um, we'll start with the power station and if I can get the mouse zoom on this now the power station it's tried to draw but the cooling towers just simply are far too small and the chimney is just massive it just does not look realistic at all however as a landmark to show that the power station is there it is quite useful um what is quite good at is the wind turbines, if we can find some. I think there's some behind here that it's drawn, drawn on. It's put on not all the wind turbines, there you go, that's quite accurate. In fact, there is exactly two wind turbines at either side of this, this reservoir here in real life, and it's put them on perfectly, so that's really useful. Um, there's also a coach house, coach house here, which is a listed building. It looks nothing like this building here, but obviously what's happened is the VFR... Uh, Landmarks has um, used the OSM data, knows there's a listed building there, and used Open Scenery X to draw a listed building, um, a stock listed building, I guess it has on its files. So it is quite useful because you do sort of use these landmarks when you're flying. It doesn't have all of the, it doesn't have all of the wind turbines. There would be a, um, a few here, but it does have some of the ones further out, and I don't know what. I mean, this is obviously struggling with the mouse. There we go. This is obviously some kind of ruins that must be there in real life. They look nothing like that and they're not as pronounced. Um, but I guess they are there. I think they should be, should show me some wind turbines. There we go, a whole field of wind turbines. And there is a, a wind farm exactly there. So I kind of like this, this plugin just for that. I'll show you how to install it because I found it quite tricky. So um, I'll jump in to, let's, uh, let's open up, it's called, if we do a Google search for VFR Landmark X Play and it'll take you to either the, um, you can go to both of these places, it'll both. So the forum, the X-Plane forum will take you to this page. You'll get the accept uh, terms. This is Sim Heaven. You can uh, you go to the sceneries and then you can just download it. So you can find the link from there. Or you can, so yeah, the, the you can find the link here. You'll just click here. And what you need to do is just download, you just click the uh, agree and download and it'll download a, a zipped up file in a in, uh, 7z format, whatever that is. So that confused me and I'll tell you a bit more about how to um, sort that out. You're also going to need this Open Sceneries X to be installed. Now this is a bit more straightforward even though it requires an installer. So you just go to the web page which is linked. You go to um, whatever your installer is. I've got a Mac, so I would open up the the Mac installer. Open that up. And just dead simply, just click continue and just go through it and install it. It's going to take a little bit of time. And what that does is it pulls in loads of scenery um, objects files, I guess. So it pulls in all the churches and all of the wind turbines and um, things like that, but it doesn't actually put them into the game. What you need is a a something like VFR landmarks to use the OSM data to tell Opens uh, Open Scenery X where to place those uh, that scenery. 
So you go through that, you install it. I'll show you where my file is in um, Xplane. It's basically in custom scenery. And I've got Open Scenery X installed. Um, the folder is in there. Open Scenery Packs, I've put Open Scenery just above the Ortho 4XP tiles, which is below Global Airports, just above the um, Ortho 4XP tiles there. So that's where I've put that. Then you just need to go to wrong button. <laughs> In fact, I wanted that page. What am I doing? Let's bring that back. Accept. Yep. So once you've downloaded your file, it'll look something like this. So find a, um, it will look like that. In fact, for me, it didn't quite look like that. It, it was just a, an unidentified file. So I did some research and this is the difficult bit. This is the thing that really threw me, but I ended, ended up having to find an application to unzip it which is called the Unarchiver. If I go to my apps, I think um, if you go, I don't know if it's the same on Windows, but at least on Mac, if you go to this free application here, Unarchiver, just download that, use that to unzip the file. And what you will end up with, I'm gonna to have to describe this as best I can. So what you're going to get is a file. Once that's extracted, it'll say sim, and I just, I've just noticed I did the Europe one there rather than the sim heaven, but the same applies. Um, what you're going to get is a sim heaven VFR landmarks folder. It's not going to say read me at the end. That's something I've added on. Ignore that. It's going to say sim heaven VFR landmarks. You're going to open that file and inside of that will be this read me and there'll be another another file that says it is named exactly the same sim heaven VFR landmarks. It's that the that file, the one inside of here, that you're going to take and you're going to drop it into, just open that for now. You're going to drop it into your custom scenery. There, sorry, yes, that one. So that is the folder that you want in your custom scenery, not the parent level folder, this child level, level folder with this, these uh, this data inside of it you put that into your custom scenery so going back to the readme file which i opened here it's going to tell you basically make sure you've got your open x scenery installed which we've done and then you need to copy the sim heaven landmarks folder into your um or into your custom scenery folder and then you need to run this mac install script I couldn't find, I don't know where this is, but I just did a search for it, found it, there it is. Open that up, you'll, you'll get a script. I'm not going to run this because I just tried it previously and uh, because I've already run it and set it up, it's going to throw an error to me. But when you run it, what you want to do is you, cl you click the play button, it's going to run and it's going to ask you to identify your x-plane folder so you'll go you'll navigate basically to your um x-plane x-plane folder you'll click and you'll click that's where you'll go to and you'll click ok and then it'll bring up another prompt and ask you to go to your custom scenery folder so you'll come into this folder and click ok and then the script is going to run it'll take a few minutes or maybe even less it's takes a little bit of time but not too much and then when that's all done you'll open up x-plane close it down just to bring the information into your scenery packs which i'm sure you've done this before it'll put your uh, the the um the string up at the top here you want to put your sim haven vfl landmarks underneath global airports and above open scenery x Open up X-Plane again, and you should be, you, sh you should see that you've got some new 
BFR scenery, just like I have. And let me know um, what you think to it. It isn't perfect. It does do some strange things. There is a farm. Here we go. It seems to have wanted to put this farmhouse onto the middle of a road here, which is bizarre. Um, it, it doesn't have... It uses stock churches and stock ruins. There isn't really much in these ruins at Breton and they don't stand out like that. But um, I do like the fact that it's got the wind turbines on the landscape and it has the power station. Even if the power station looks pretty ridiculous, it is at least there. It's a good landmark, which I actually use when I'm flying. I hope that's been useful. I'm Pilot Mike. Um, let me know if you've got any really interested or cool modifications for X-Plane. That, um, that I should have a look at because I'm finding it really fun to put these modifications in and, and change it up and make it look how I like. Thanks for watching.